Okay. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. So for everybody watching this morning, we are live with Deanna Hansen and of course the very famous Danielle Valores. <laughs> so no, stop, no, stop. <laughs> I'm really excited to have Deanna here today. Um, she is a certified athletic therapist, and she's the founder of Fluid Isometric and Block Therapy. I'm really excited to learn about this. Um, if you want to contact Deanna, it's at the bottom of our screen. She's at blocktherapy.com. And she has also developed an online training program called Block Therapy University. And I'm really excited to hear about that as well. So welcome, Deanna. Thank you so much. I am so excited to be here sharing with all of you. Aw, thank you so much for being here with us. Um, we really appreciate it. And, you know, we want to speak today not just to our women uh, who have had explants from, you know, breast implant illness, but I believe you cover a wide range of, of people, correct? Absolutely. Yes. We target the fascia system and, and fascia innervates every single cell in the body. So really understanding the system impacts our health in general. Awesome. All right. So tell us, I know nothing. So Danielle, you work, with you, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I and, am. Do we call ourselves blockers? Uh, people call themselves many different things. People uh, enjoy the term blockaholic when they start diving in because they become literally addicted to the process. So we've, I, I, I call people blockers though. Yeah, absolutely. I am. Um, <laughs> I imagine if you're going to be addicted to anything that this is a good thing. So it is with only positive side effects. So, <laughs> you know, um, if I can, let me, if I could share just a quick minute, um, you know, I was looking for something, what can I do at home to help my mobility? And, you know, I was rolling, I was tapping, everybody knows I'm a lymphy, you know, I, I do lymph uh, drainage therapy and visceral body work and, I, I use all that on myself and my clients. And um, I'm always trying to look for what can we do at home for ourselves? Because especially during COVID, it's not like we could get out and, you know, go get the work and, um, and then that can get expensive. Um, and honestly, I wasn't thinking that uh, this duo would do much because there's yoga blocks out there and things like that. But let me just tell you, um, I'm 54 and um, at, sometimes at 3 a.m. I'll wake up and uh, I used to either just get up or try to go back to sleep and I never could go back to sleep. I never thought that, I hope you're gonna show us today too, but I now, this is, this is uh, in the bed with me and I'll roll over and I'll do the belly area and I'll just breathe into it. And then I eventually fall asleep and when I roll over like, it's like all the tension is, maybe not all, but a good bit of the tension is gone and I sleep deeper. Um, I should probably do this before I go to sleep at night, but that just dawned on me now. So, um, But it, it has done a lot of things for my digestion. And so people who have bloating and um, uh, ill digestion, Th this helps if you do a little bit of this before you eat and then maybe two hours after you eat too. So it's not just like, I, I mean, maybe that is all fascia, but for me in my mind, it's not just like, oh, I have a tight muscle or, oh, I have this. Like, I know I'm just learning the depth of what fascia is and what it isn't. And it's really everything and everywhere. So I'm going to shut up, but um this also helps with the scar tissue. So anyone who's had implants and or explants or C-section surgery, it is changing my lower abdomen. Um, and I, it, it, it's mind blowing that uh, a block would do that. So, so that. I didn't even know that, okay. So I know you said block therapy, but I didn't know anything about what that meant until Deanna held up the block. And I was like, oh, so there is a true block to this therapy. Okay. So tell us Deanna, what is block therapy? Just you know. So I'm going to back up to 21 years ago when this whole journey began for me. And I was, I've been an athletic therapist since I was 25 years old back in 1995. And I was doing the work that I was taught in university. I was working out, I was dieting, I was, you know, working really hard to try to get a healthy, fit, attractive body. And the harder that I worked, the worse 
things became. I was 50 pounds overweight. I was struggling with anxiety, depression, constipation. The harder I worked, the bigger I got, the more that whole cycle continued. And it was very frustrating because as an, as an athletic therapist, we're trained to work with athletes. So I'm in this world of fitness and I'm, I'm applying what I learned. And yet I am struggling and I'm going in the opposite direction. So I made some serious changes to my life at the age of 30. And as a result, of some serious anxiety attacks. But the anxiety attack was the seed of everything to come. In the moment of this attack, I, I actually thought I was going to die because I couldn't catch my breath. I was in that much of a chaotic state in my mind. And for some reason, I just dove my hand into my abdomen. The first thing I encountered was pain. I didn't even realize I had any pain in there because I never touched that area. I loathed that area. That's where I carried all of my size. So the pain though brought me out of my crazy thinking. It brought me to the ground. I'm like, okay, I'm safe. I'm, I'm going to survive another moment. But what was really interesting after that is as I just kept continually intuitively exploring in that tissue, I realized it was marbled with what felt like scar tissue, even though I hadn't had any injury or surgery in that area. Now, up until then, as an athletic therapist, I practiced with my hands. I was basically always a manual therapist, knowing what scar tissue felt like. I had a really good practice because I had strong hands, but I had never encountered this before. So suddenly, everything started falling into place in my mind, like coming back from a five mile run, dripping wet with sweat, my belly would still feel cold. So I'm like, well, no wonder nothing's changing. There's no energy getting to this area to metabolize that and to make changes. So the first evening, I just was intuitively exploring for about 45 minutes. And the thing that was so impactful was how calm I felt. Woke up the next day, went to work, a little tender, but still feeling really, really calm. So excited to go back home that second night and just explore again. After that second night of just diving back in, when I stood up, I felt different. I felt taller and I went to the mirror and I looked at myself and I literally started to cry because my belly was flatter than it had looked in years. So of course this becomes my new addiction. I have an addictive personality. So every day I would come home from work working on patients with my hands. Then I would take my hands into my own body. After two weeks, my clinical back pain was gone. Things were changing. So I started changing my approach with my patients. I started flipping them on their backs and I started working with them in a similar way that I just was working with myself. And this was 21 years ago. And this basically was the seed of everything. And she's the founder of... Sorry, Echo. Sorry. Um, so I was getting some really amazing results with my patients. Sorry. Therapist. I apologize. Of, I can't turn this off. Danielle has her uh, social media on. Wait, can I can I stop you for one second and ask a question? Yes. So, what exactly were you doing on your abdomen? I basically, um, I actually, I, I have a video in my membership of the actual approach of fluid isometrics. So, it's basically. Um, the, the way energy travels is in waves and spirals. It's all based on the Fibonacci sequence, which I learned later as I started trying to figure out what I actually had tapped into. So I was basically just following the path of pain, the path of least resistance in my tissue with my hands. So I was just kind of <laughs> exploring. And it wasn't until about two years into my practice with doing this on my patients, somebody said, you really need to be teaching this. And I thought, what am I actually doing though? I'm just kind of going with the flow and I'm getting these amazing results. So then I started researching, what am I actually doing? And as I was learning, I realized I was following the Fibonacci sequence, the, the pattern of everything in nature. And since then I've, I've learned a lot about how um, just that pattern flows in general in nature, but it also is how we age. We age in a forward rotational direction. So basically energy will move in a wave until it hits an obstruction, at which point it will spiral. And then the energy becomes chaotic. And you can really see this. I used to work in a bar when I was 18, 19 years old, back in the day when you could smoke. <clears throat> and if you have a pipe or a cigarette, at first it moves in a wave, then it starts to spiral, and then it turns to chaos. And I remember looking up at the ceiling in the bar and seeing these strands of chaotic smoke dancing around. And that's kind of what happens to the outer part of the body, we are literally in chaos, but under the chaos is the spiral, under the spiral is the wave back to the source. So the goal is that we wanna have basically everything in proper alignment and optimal space in the body so that that wave is consistent and it doesn't enter or, or hit any obstruction. 
So basically obstruction is scar tissue and compression from unconscious posture and breathing, scar tissue from injury or surgery, or if you think about how most people sit in front of a computer, you know, we, we slump in and we are off balance because we're dominant on one side. So our body literally is in chaos because we haven't been given the proper understanding of what to do to keep every cell positioned where it should be. And if every cell is positioned where it should be, then there's optimal space. Where there's optimal space, there's optimal flow. And it, uh, from the perspective of fascia health, it all comes down to flow. It's when we end up slowing down that flow of blood and oxygen to cells. At some point, we might even stop that flow entirely to a certain area of the body, as well as the inability to remove waste completely from those cells. That's when we start getting into trouble. We experience pain, we experience acidic environments, disease, all of those things happen. And then that affects our mental and emotional states as well, because if our body is chaotic, our emotions and our mind are also chaotic. So this process literally taps in to those seams of time that have been created and unzips those seams so that we can improve blood and oxygen flow to cells as well as clean them. And it comes down to the difference between force and persuasion. We don't force the body with this process, we melt. And melting makes it very safe, very restorative. We connect into the parasympathetic nervous system. And the most basic foundation of this is really to target proper diaphragmatic breathing. Because when we breathe properly, we feed the body up to six times the amount of oxygen, which is an absolute game changer for everything that we do. Wow, that is so cool. Okay, and it makes so much sense to me. I mean, just to have everything flowing and then it goes right back into the lymph, like Danielle said. So this is how she was kind of led here, I'm sure. So, okay, so um, what kind of, what kind of uh, clients do you find that you treat most? Um, Initially, it was the 50 to 75 year old woman that would be the ones drawn to this practice. Um, and I, I mean, we have people of all ages. We have people that are bedridden, elite. Like it's, it's really the whole gamut. We also have a kids program. There's no age restriction. There's no restriction of any kind really that limits you from doing this because you can do this in bed. You can do it on a floor and ramp it up and you can um, add in isometric work, which we all have part of our programs to make it more of an exercise. It's also a meditation. So we really address absolutely everything because at the end of the day, when you start improving flow in the body, no matter where you're starting from, improvement will happen. So again, 50 to 75 year old women is, is our biggest market at this point. But at, we, we really want to you know get this in the hands of everybody because it's simple, it's inexpensive. You do it in the comfort of your own home. You can travel with it. All you need to take is the, is the tool with you. And then everything else is delivered through video so that you can just follow along and it's, there's no skill required either. So um, basically anybody and everybody. That's awesome. That's what everybody wants to hear. Like Danielle said, especially in these days where people aren't going out as much and there's not as much access to in-person care, you know, this is huge. Um, and because I didn't know that. And, and I had thought you and well, I thought you guys lived near each other. I thought you guys were local. <laughs> I realized that she was in Canada. She's like, oh no, I'm not local to her at all. <laughs> So, yep. um, so, yeah, I mean, I really came into this not knowing anything and now I'm completely intrigued. So are you able to tell us about or show us any of the techniques? Like um, I've got this block, so what in the world do I do with it? So we have, um, when, when people get the program, first of all, you get what is called our starter program. We have nine videos covering the entire body to teach you how to use the tool safely, to teach you proper foundations and to teach you how to engage proper diaphragmatic breathing. And then from there, we also have a two week trial into our membership. Once you get into the membership, you have a whole new world of wonderful content. We have a 21 day women's health program. We have a 21 day pelvis, legs and feet. Like we, we really address the whole thing, a 21 day head, neck and scalp program, which unbelievable the changes in face work. Like we, we did a challenge and the facelift Un unreal the changes in 21 days what happens when you address this and so it really is following the the programs in the system because fascia connects every single cell from head to toe and what i've actually seen is the calves and the feet are the real major cause sites for pretty much any issue in the body even migraines shoulder pain carpal tunnel because it all comes down to understanding how the system works 
And fascia will grip and adhere to bone with a force of up to 2,000 pounds per square inch. It literally magnetically seals onto bone. So that's what we're dealing with when we are attempting to make changes in the body. So for example, if, I'm, if I had a headache, we have wonderful classes that address the head and the neck. But as soon as I start walking, because of the way the fascia adheres and rolls around the calves and gets so glued onto the feet, every step you take will still pull your fascia system back into that negative alignment. So we need to look at the body in general as a whole and make sure that we can release from the foundation up so that we support the entire system. But what I'll do is I will show you some just very basic um, positions in the rib cage, how simple it is. And the reason it's so profound is because there's only two rules in block therapy. The first one is um, a minimum of three minutes per position because you can't rush melting. And the second one is your breath is your guide. As long as you're breathing in a relaxed way, you will be feeding and healing your cells. If something hurts too much that it takes that relaxed breath away, that's your body saying, okay, we got to back off and we have to do this less intensely because then you're getting into that force mode and force is how we injure ourselves. When we treat our body with respect with the breath, then we get into that restorative mode and the healing is really profound and deep. And then those adhesions that are stuck onto the bone, they get to be released which is why we make the tool from, um, in past it was made from cedar, now it's made from bamboo, but we chose this material specifically because similar to density to bone and fascia grips to bone. So if we wanna make real lasting changes, we have to get to the root of the problem, which is where it's sealed on the deepest level at the bone. So I'm on a couch here, so I'm just gonna move everything around a little bit and just show you how simple. Awesome. Yeah. So we always, always start right on the belly button because what we are attempting to do here is engage that proper diaphragmatic breath. And over time, literally, that the rib cage collapses into the core. So I'm 51 years old. And basically, we all get shorter and wider as we age. That's, that's typically what happens because gravity is constantly pulling down on the body. So as the rib cage falls into the core, we think that we have a harder time getting rid of fat, but it's not fat, it's displaced fascia. As we fall into that internal space, bulk has to move somewhere and it's going to move outward. So as we lose the space inside, everything migrates and then we get ballooned, but we also become stagnant because we don't have that flow. So then waste accumulates and then we get bigger just from that um, perspective. So the very first position we do is the belly. And all we literally do is lie. I love this. Thank you for showing us. Oh, my pleasure. Is lie right on the tool. And then the education is how to breathe, because this is really the most important thing. We want to breathe into the block with the belly because we want to train proper diaphragmatic breathing. Most people are breathing from the muscles of the upper chest. So this helps us to to release those adhesions that are locking that rib cage in the core. And then it starts to get that pump, the diaphragm to really strongly work so that we can, again, send proper amounts of blood and oxygen flow to cells. Also in 2014, they did a study in Australia proving 84% of weight loss comes through proper exhalation. So this is really going to strongly engage that proper diaphragmatic breath. So I'm literally lying here. Um, you can do it on something soft, which is less intense. You can do it on the floor, which is more intense. But at the end of the day, you follow your breath. One of my favorite things to do, and this is how I pretty much fall asleep every night, is I just put the block right underneath my ribs and I'll fall asleep with it here. And it's amazing because especially for people in a lot of chronic pain, they think, well, I don't want to lie on something hard. That's only going to be more painful but pressure overrides pain. And because this is similar in density to bone, they're friendly, they love each other. So as you start to connect in and you connect to that breath, those pressure fibers override any pain sensation, and then you start to sink deeper. And then we teach you when we're in classes to start exploring, searching for that pain. So this is another position, an example, you can get right into the armpit for anybody with um, shoulder range of motion issues, it's incredible how much relief you can get from improving range of motion. We do, 
face work, we get right onto that cheekbone. So we get into here, we, we clean up the jaw. Like there's no area in the body that we don't actually address. We get right on top of the scalp, we get down into the feet, we get deep into the psoas. I mean, there, there's no area we don't cover and that's the beauty of it because we can't just target one spot to have the change in fascia that we want. We want to basically see this system as an interconnected system of the body and address it appropriately so that we can literally bring ourselves back to where they've moved to over unconscious living for however old we are back into proper alignment so that we can support proper flow. Wow. So cool. That is awesome. Thank you so much for showing us that. I am, I'm really interested. So Danielle, tell us how, like, what, what are you working on with it specifically? Maybe one or two things if you want to share. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm working on uh, the belly and the belly breathing. And for me, um, I just, just, just started to use this with clients as well. And I think the biggest breakthrough I've seen um, is just do, for right, like at the beginning, whatever tool you use as far as like, you know, the block or a yoga block or a book in the, or a towel in the beginning is when you lay on it or position the tool, um, just be aware, like just becoming conscious of how your body feels in that position, seeing where your shoulders are because you're holding yourself up because you don't want to breathe into something um, or where your tongue is, like just to be curious and see what's so. I think that alone opened up my eyes to a lot of things. And then when I was like, okay, now I'm in a comfortable place or an awareness place. I don't know that I have the, the right words. Um, the exhale is exquisitely excruciating. And when you breathe in, you're pushing away from the block, everything's expanding. And then when you breathe out and then out and you let yourself fall in, which a lot of, I'm gonna say a lot of us breast implant illness women or people who have autoimmune are hypervigilant. There's no way we're letting go, no way I'm letting go. So that was, you know, that took a while. I mean, that was, I mean, I'm still doing that. And there's some days after work where I can't, I just, there's no, I can't let go anymore. But yesterday I, you couldn't even see the block. It was all the way in, you know? So I'm literally taking this so slow and having so many, um, like I now think I breathe from here just because I also have that uh, felt sense, right? And um, and so that's where I'm at. And when I when I have let this uh, tool be used in clients, the tension that is released um, is deeper than my hand can get to for them, right? And it's not. Um, you know, sometimes, Dina, Deanna, maybe you can speak to, like, sometimes you do have pain and health crisis, right? Yes. Um, yes. And, um, like, I had one patient have a, um, like, she got a headache or blur vision, and then it went away, and then she felt even better. Like, I, I'm just, I'm literally learning this tool and this modality. And for me, it's made such a marked improvement in my SIBO, in my bloat, and in the tension in the abdomen that um, if I don't block before bed or at three, you know, I'm not blocking at 3 a.m. I literally, um, I, sometimes I just wake up at least two times a week, right? And then I'll do that. Um, like it, I just feel better the next day, right? And I do excrete better. Can I say excrete on Facebook Live <laughs> instead of? Yeah, and you know, so the people who have constipation, or a little bit edgy feeling, you know, I, th I think that this does more than, and maybe this is all that fascia is, but there's, there's a serotonin conglomerate in your belly, right? There's the, the vagus nerve is everywhere in every organ. And so if you are affecting yourself at a cellular level, that then becomes a tissue level becomes an organ level, becomes a system, systems level. And um, I can't wait to um, 
you know, start the the different programs. But uh, and I'm literally on still on the seven day, and I think I, I don't know how long I've had this, and it's perfect for me right where I'm at right now. Um, it's just that there is no rush. Um, people go through it at very very different paces depending on what they need, and that's the beauty. It's your tool. You, you become very connected to your tool. And I just want to share, I had a breast reduction when I was 24 years old. And what happened as a result of that, um, that was when, I mean, they, they were huge and I was also getting bigger. And so I was very much into, I want to lose weight mode. So I was running a lot. So after my reduction, what was happening was my scars were starting to adhere to my ribs and it was affecting my breath. And I, st I started to become addicted to using my inhaler before a run just so that I could run. And then before I knew it, I was bringing my inhaler with me for my runs and then stopping midway. And then like suddenly I'm like, okay, this isn't good. So this process, um, and, and it's interesting too, because looking back, had I known what I know now, I wouldn't have had that surgery. But I'm so glad that I did because that gave me the opportunity to learn to melt those scars off my rib cage. And so that was a huge learning for me to see what this work actually can do. And it is all about moving into, um, like, so we, we've, got a, we've got classes we've, where you literally are like lying on your breast tissue. In fact, for everybody that gets the starter program, we are gifting, and this has been since COVID, COVID um, the breast and lung health virtual intensive. It's a two hour intensive where basically we are working through the rib cage and we're getting deep into that breast tissue all the way around. So for people that still have implants, I wouldn't lie directly on it, but you can certainly work all the way around to make sure that those scars are released and you can make sure that things are still fluid because we don't want to get sticky and that's what happens. Everything gets really, really sticky. And then we, it, it ends up basically suffocating us in a sense because as those ribs keep collapsing and, and fascia continues to wind over time, it's like a clock making us tighter, 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 tighter. And then the yeah. tighter we get, the more anxiety, the more disconnected, like all of those things happen. So by being able to release this, um, it, it's just, it's a game changer again for how you feel mentally, emotionally, and physically. That's awesome. So how, how do we find you and how do we get set up with the program because people are asking they're interested for sure so so the first thing is um i've i've sent you a link for my free book uh fascia decompression the missing link in self-care that also connects you into our newsletter and if you want just the book and then you want to unsubscribe from the newsletter you totally can but blocktherapy.com is the website and right on that home page of the website it leads you right to our starter program and that's where everybody needs to begin because that teaches you how to use this safely you have the nine videos in the starter program covering the whole body for life you also have a two-week free trial into that membership and then most importantly and and this really to me is the most important piece our facebook community block therapy um, community on Facebook is we have over 4,000 members now, and these are all people blocking. So when you ask questions, my, I've got over 160 teachers globally, all the teachers are in there. You're not just asking me, you're asking people that have done the work and they're giving you their perspective as well, which is lovely because there, for example, fibromyalgia, I haven't had that specifically, but I have a lot of people in there that do. So you'll get information from the people that are using the tool that have the specific conditions. And it's absolutely my favorite place to be. It is so supportive. It's almost like people are sharing miracles every day. They're not miracles. It's just understanding fascia health and, and how to make changes, but these are real changes that are happening and changes um, in things like scoliosis, things that have been chronic for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Um, it, it really is exciting. And it covers the whole gamut of vanity to function to range of motion, to, I mean, the whole thing to anti-aging, because as long as cells are properly fed and clean, they're doing their job. They shouldn't be screaming with pain. They shouldn't be going through an aging process. It's as soon as cells get the ability to receive what it requires, as well as being cleaned, that's when we start undergoing that aging process. So this is a, basically it's taking you backward through time in your and when you were mentioning the healing crises, that's why they happen. Because if 10 years ago you had a trauma that wasn't healed properly, we're going to get there and it's going to come to the surface and you're going to say goodbye to it. But it might come out as a shift in pain, a skin rash, um, you know, diarrhea. You might have flu-like symptoms. Um, I mean, 
it, it's so interesting because you can never predict how, when, or even if it's going to happen to somebody because it's just so variable as, as everybody goes through it. But the community is so incredibly supportive and it's completely worth it, <laughs> those healing crises, because that's letting you know that your body's actually cleaning itself out and doing what it needs to do to repair and to start becoming a, a better version of itself. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Let's do anything else. I mean, going through the process sometimes isn't easy, but it's always worth it in the end. So... All right. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And um, I think I'm echoing now. Uh, since my computer is telling me it's over. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching. And thank you so much, Deanna, for being here and for what you do. This is so cool. And Danielle, as always. Um, so you ladies stay with me, but we're going to say goodbye. And everybody have a great weekend. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone. <clears throat>